I'll just say a few things um, about how the Department of Energy is working to help cities become more energy efficient, more sustainable, uh, on tight budgets, uh, which, as has been noted, every level of government is dealing with. Uh, but first, let me say, uh, as I think everyone is aware, um, under the Obama administration, uh, the last couple of years, uh, we've made a major commitment to really priming the pump for clean energy and energy efficiency. And now, uh, we're obviously in a very different uh, fiscal environment. One of the very positive consequences uh, of the investment that we made under the Recovery Act, though, I think particularly for the Department of Energy, uh, was to really uh, become aware of all the innovation, all the leadership that's happening at the local level, in cities, in local communities, by elected officials, by the private sector partners, by non-governmental organizations. DOE, I think it's fair to say, um, for the most part, had worked uh, with states uh, and at the, sort of the regional level um, uh, in accordance with how the the utility markets are regulated in this country for years. Not so much the case uh, at the local level. And so really through some of the Recovery Act programs, uh, which we think have uh, generated benefits in and of themselves, we've also seen opportunities uh, to help cities continue the progress they're making. I wanted to just uh, discuss four areas because this is really gonna have to be about the how. Now how are cities gonna continue to become more energy efficient, more environmentally sustainable on tight budgets? I think there are four areas I'm just gonna tick off uh, activities that DOE is undertaking each. Number one is in the area of planning. You know, you know, not always the, the, the sexiest topic, uh, frankly, not always the discipline that is included as much focus on energy use, energy supply, energy demand. That's starting to change. And, cr and planning for the future, for the economic and competitiveness future of cities and regions, uh, increasingly is starting to look at energy as a primary driver. And we think that's important and we're we're making an effort to support it, which I'll describe. Second is removing regulatory barriers. Uh, obviously, in a, in a very difficult fiscal environment at all levels, anything we can do to lower the cost of doing business in clean energy and energy efficiency is critical. We see some opportunities there that are right in the hands of cities and we're supporting them. The third uh, is to really try to establish the, the, the infrastructure for growing consumer demand for clean energy technologies, uh, and energy efficiency. Yes, even in a very difficult economy, um, there are signs uh, across the board that consumers are becoming more educated, are becoming more interested. And so we want to make sure we're setting the stage so that the private sector can help meet that growing consumer interest. And then finally, setting the stage for private capital investment, as, as John said. I mean, again, under the Recovery Act, as everyone knows, the government's been more actively involved in, in helping fund and finance than it probably will continue to be able to uh, in the coming years, but there's a lot we can do in partnership with cities to help set the stage for private investment.